Hi there. Here's yet another reason why eat locally is great advice when you travel. This past summer, my job sent me to Cincinnati, where I had the opportunity to try their famous local chili. This is a far cry from your typical Texas-style barbecue nuclear chili, and there are a lot of things about Cincinnati chili that would make Texans declare war, along with other chili lovers across the country. It's a very unusual flavor that includes cinnamon and chocolate in its ingredients, but it's one of those magical combinations, like Vietnamese pho, that comes together perfectly, so the final result is far greater than the sum of its parts and the taste of Cincinnati chili really needs to be experienced. Here in New England, we're proud of our world-famous Boston baked beans, but in Cincinnati, it's all about the chili. We're starting off by bringing out a large cast iron pan to brown the ground beef, and in fact, this goes against the traditional way to make Cincinnati chili. While the pan is heating up, we chop up a lot of onions and put half the onions into the refrigerator. We'll be using those at the end to top the finished chili. We also chop up three garlic cloves. And now we add two pounds of ground beef to the pan and brown it up. A lot of necessary prep for this dish suggests it was made especially for restaurants or at least made popular by restaurants, including the way the flavorings and spices come first and then the final step of preparing the chili is to add in your raw ground beef. Despite this, I'm still in favor of browning the ground beef first before adding it to the chili. This allows you to add some flavor to the ground beef, as well as rendering out some of the extra fat and liquid before it goes into the chili. Now we heat up a large Dutch oven, and we add the first half of the chopped onions and saute them for five minutes until the onions are softened. Add chopped garlic and continue to saute for another two or three minutes. When the smell of the cooking garlic is unmistakable, it's time to add the spices, starting with a lot of chili powder, as well as some cumin and oregano. And then things get strange, and we add some spices you wouldn't expect to see in chili, namely cinnamon and allspice. After this, we add some black pepper, cayenne pepper, and salt. And now we add beef broth and stir it all together for about five minutes until everything is hot and steaming. And now to add the secret ingredient to this chili, namely chocolate. We're using unsweetened chocolate so it'll be strong enough to add its own flavor to the chili. And now we finish it off with the traditional chili ingredients, namely tomato paste, vinegar, tomato sauce, brown sugar, and Worcestershire sauce. And finally, we add the browned ground beef to the pot and stir it until everything is combined. Cover the pot for about five minutes to bring it all to a boil. Then we uncover the pot, turn the heat down to medium low, and simmer for an hour to reduce and thicken the chili. While the chili is simmering, there's time to prepare a pound of spaghetti. And when the chili has reduced so it's good and thick, we're ready to serve up some Cincinnati chili. They even have names for how the chili is served, so when you order this in Cincinnati, you can have it two-way with just the pasta and chili, or you can do a three-way and add the chopped onions. Finally, smother it all with shredded cheddar cheese. And if you want to go all the way and do a five-way chili, be sure to add beans to the chili to really bring it over the top and complete your Cincinnati chili experience. There are two local chains that specialize in chili, Gold Star and Skyline. Skyline is the more popular and famous of the two, but even just making it home with this recipe, it's yet another testament to trying something new and making a discovery that you'd never make if you stick to a safe and bland burger place. 
By the way, I also tried Big Boys there for the first time, and probably the last time as well. And you can be sure the next time I'm in town, I'll be gorging on the chili. Thank you for watching.